What's up, Kids Life family, and welcome to my home office. Guys, I have some really exciting activities for you, and so I want to start with my very favorite, a tiny miniature banjo. I know what you're thinking. I love music. So when I learned you could do this at home, I could not be more excited to try it. So this is what you'll need to join with me. You'll need some rubber bands, some fun things to decorate with. So I've got some glittery tape, some stripy tape, some jar lids. You only need one, so you can decide which one's your favorite. This one's cool because it's orange. This one's bigger. I haven't decided which one. Some duct tape, and last but not least, hot glue. Oh, did I mention parent permission? Okay, that's very, very important. Go get parent permission and then come back here and we're gonna create a tiny miniature banjo from scratch. Here we go. The first step is to get your jar lid. I think I'll go with this one. And then what you'll do is you'll need three rubber bands or two. And what you'll do is you'll just wrap the rubber band right in front of that jar. I'll show you. So you just kind of wrap it around. If your rubber band is really loose like mine, then go ahead and wrap it twice. So I'm gonna do that right now. Watch your eyes. And already you can hear the music. Okay, so one more awesome rubber band. This will be the body of our banjo guitar. That happens sometimes. Here we go. Ugh, there we go, feeling good about this one. Okay, so we got the strings going across the body of our banjo guitar. Let's hear the music. Sounds pretty good. Okay, step two, you'll need a little bit of duct tape. So get your duct tape, rip off a little square, and we're just gonna secure the banjo strings on the back of the body like this. So that's very important because the next step we'll use hot glue. Also, your parents will also use hot glue with you. And we don't wanna melt the rubber bands with the hot glue, okay? So once we have our duct tape in place, go ahead and get one of one of these, it's like a jumbo popsicle stick. If you don't have one of these, maybe you can use two normal popsicle sticks next to each other or anything that you can find that kind of looks just like this. So what I did with mine was I cut mine a little bit shorter right here and we're gonna add it to the banjo just like this and it's gonna be the neck of our banjo guitar. How cool is that? Okay, so a little hot glue will have this sticking to the banjo just like this. So get a little bit of hot glue on your popsicle stick. And then put that right here. Okay. Feeling good about the placement of the neck on our banjo guitar. Now the last step there is to do is just to decorate your banjo however you want. So I have shiny tape, you guys can use stickers, markers, whatever you have around the house. I love this because this reminds me of King David. In the Bible, there's a passage where he's telling God about everything that's going wrong and all of the needs in his life. But then he stops and he says something so amazing to God. This is what he says. But I will sing of your strength. In the morning, I will sing of your love. For you are my fortress, my refuge in times of trouble. So guys, even when things are not going our way, we can wake up every morning and sing praises to God because we know that we serve a God who is always strong, He's always there, and we can always talk to Him. So let your little banjo be a reminder that God is for you, not against you, and whatever you're facing, big or small, God is with you in the good times and also in the times of trouble. Okay guys, I hope you loved making your mini banjo. I'm so excited to see the designs, the shapes, and the sizes of your banjos. Please post a picture and send it to us. You can tag us on YouTube, on Facebook, and on Instagram. We would love to see your musical genius. See you next time. Hey, BJ. What up? How you doing? How's it going? Good. How are you? I'm good. I'm great. I'm so excited. Okay, I gotta tell you. I have a surprise for you. For me? Yes. That's awesome. What is it? Close your eyes. Oh, okay. Keep them tight. Keep them tight. They're closed. Open them up. It's a giant tub of... It's peanut butter! Yeah! Um, 
okay? I just knew. I went into the store the other day, and I said, oh, my friend, PJ, needs peanut butter. So I had to get it for you, because I know how much you love peanut butter. Um, Dom? It's so good. I, I don't like peanut butter. Say what? What I mean is, I don't like peanut butter. Can you say that again for me one more time? Because I, 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 it sounded like you said you didn't like peanut butter. You want to explain that again? Yeah, I don't like peanut butter. I, I don't eat peanut butter. Yesterday, I woke up and ate peanut butter. Today, I woke up and I don't like to eat peanut butter. Yesterday, you ate peanut butter cookies. Mm -hmm. You had peanut butter sandwiches mm -hmm. with banana. Mm -hmm. You had apples and peanut butter. We had chicken and peanut butter. No, no. What do you mean you don't like peanut butter? I woke up today and I don't like it. Okay, don't play with my emotions like that. You don't. told me you like peanut butter, uh, and now you're telling me you don't. Listen, I know you're upset, but I've changed, okay? And I'm not going back to the way I was. I'm not going back to eating any more peanut butter. I'm never gonna eat it again. Never, never, never. I bet you I can get you to like peanut butter by the end of the day. I bet you can. I bet you I can. I'm gonna make you love you some peanut butter. Mm -mm. I'm gonna make you love it. Sounds like a challenge to me. Oh, it is, bro. So why don't you bring it? I will. Game yeah. yeah, on. Oh, come on, man! Ah. Ooh, yeah! Ah. Yeah, it smells good. All right. A bit of water action here. Uh, ah, there we go. Good. All right, here we go. <laughs> come on! Uh, no! Uh. All right, Gabby, have a good night. I will see you tomorrow. See you next time. It's peanut butter. Well, howdy, y'all. Well, hey, we're about to sing us a song right now, so long as you just come on singing with us now. Here we go. This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I can do what it says I can do. Today I'll be taught the word of God. I boldly confess my mind is alert. My heart is receptive. I will never be the same. Never, never, never. I'm about to receive the incorruptible, indestructible, ever-living seed of the Word of God. I will never be the same. Never, never, never. I will never be the same. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Hey everybody, it's Miss London here and I have a challenge for you this week. This is gonna be called the Goodness Challenge. I was reading in Psalm 27, 13 where it says, I am confident that I will see God's goodness. And I know that God has been good to you as well. So here's a challenge, are you ready for it? This is what it is. You're gonna go around your house this week with your family and you're gonna look at all the things in your home that you are grateful for. All the ways that God has blessed you, all of the things that you have in your home, maybe experiences that you've had. Even talk to your mom and dad, brothers and sisters if you have them. Bring your whole family in on it. Talk about memories that you guys have together. All of these ways are ways that you've been able to see God's goodness in your life. And I wanna see how many can you guys come up with? You think you can do 10? I think you can do more than 10. So get creative with this, guys. Take a picture, draw us a picture, make a list, whatever works for you, and tag us on social media. We wanna see all the things you're grateful for, all the ways God's been good to you in your life. I think you can do this. Challenge accepted? Challenge accepted.